This administration has not instilled us with any degree of confidence that they know what they're doing when it comes to fighting the Islamic threat. The fact that Hillary, Susan Rice, and others blamed the Islamic act of war in Benghazi on a video that no one had seen is ridiculous enough. Or was, until Marie Harf. She's the wind tunnel that said we needed to bomb the Islamic State with jobs. Yeah, that'll show them. The Islamic attacks over the weekend have put the issue once again in the forefront of everybody's mind, and as usual, the powers that be less than impress. If you're still wondering whether or not this administration gets it when it comes to the Islamic acts of war, yesterday, White House Press Secretary Josh Earnest should have removed any lingering doubt. He went on CNN with Chris Cuomo and said this, When it comes to ISIL, we are in a fight, a narrative fight with him, a narrative battle. Now, if you think maybe he misspoke, he repeated himself on MSNBC. This is actually just a war of narratives, and so we want to make sure that we're getting out our counter-narrative against ISIL. Did you get that? This is a fight of narratives. Omar Mateen went through Pulse nightclub and murdered 49 people with narratives. Saeed Farouk and Tashfeen Malik stormed into the building where Saeed was employed and murdered his co-workers with narratives. Over the weekend, a narrative attack wounded nine in Minnesota and several narratives went off injuring American citizens in New York and New Jersey. Folks, these people don't have a clue. The Islamic State isn't beheading people with narratives. This is dangerous incompetence on parade. The Islamic threat is not going to be defeated by throwing jobs at it. And if this administration is fighting a war with words, then it's no wonder the Islamic State is growing and gaining ground despite the lies we're being fed by Barack the First. They are using knives, bullets, and bombs. Americans are dying at their hands. This administration has to be blind not to see that. They keep talking about how they've taken the fight to them, but they certainly have brought the fight to us. Now we know that Obama doesn't care. He's on their side against America and working hard to put our great nation in decline. That's obvious. If you don't believe that, you're fooling yourself. It's liberal ideology that causes the willful blindness in all of the fools around him. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and donate at theraywarnershow.com.